Hello everybody, this is Nora with NQ57 and I am here with a nail vlog and that's because I have an update for you guys. You remember the nail that I extended using the fiber gel? This guy right here from Your Sugar that was sent to me by Born Pretty Store for review. This is a builder gel that has fibers in there and I never did find out if it's fiberglass or silk fibers but I wanted to show you so remember I extended this nail just a very tip of it and it has now been two full weeks two full weeks since I've had this nail with the extension and I went underneath with a um, I think I just used a white gel polish because the extension was clear and I have not had any lifting now. I was very careful to keep any application of regular polish and removal of acetone against this to prevent any premature lifting. But uh, no problems at all, guys. And it's, it's very strong. And no lifting from my tip either. Because, you know, the cuticle area is not the only place where you can have lifting. You can have separation from your natural tip if your tip is long. And another update that I have for you is that this Manny that I have right here, this color is, this neon orange is 053 from Amy Lee and I have some holographic foils from Beauty Big Band that I reviewed quite some time ago some time ago and someone asks me about them and when I looked them up a couple of days ago on Beauty Big Bang they were out of stock. But I know so I and if also if you remember so prior to me applying this color I did the dip powder application French manicure and that was a um, that was that was on Instagram, an Instagram post, and it was a Born Pretty Store dip powder application where I did a French manicure, and that's what I have on this hand on these nails. I did the dip powder overlay with just the clear on my right hand, but then over that, guys, over that dip powder, which is finished with a top coat. I actually finished it with a gel top coat. I applied my Burt's Bees cuticle cream prior to applying this gel polish Friday. Today is Tuesday. That was four days ago. Four days that I've been washing and taking showers and washing my hair with this Manny gel polish applied over the cuticle cream that is over my dip powder overlay if you're <laughs> catching if you get all that so yes I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to remove this here now I have not had any lifting of this or any pop off of I have experience where I apply this directly to my total totally bare nail if I apply this to my bare nail and then go over it with a gel polish it has popped off in the shower I'm going to go ahead and attempt the removal of this. I'm going to be very careful. I do not want to lift my dip powder overlay. So anything that might stay behind, I might just buff it off. Again, I don't know how stubborn this is going to be. But yes, oh, I actually want to bring a paper towel here. So I can have easy cleanup. But look at this. This is um, so it's been a little bit, a little. It's been it's stubborn. It's not like it's super. Easy. It's not peeling. It's not gonna come up. I mean, it is peeling, but it's not like it's coming off in in one piece. But I know that I'm I'm not causing any damage to my nail because again, that's just the dip powder, and I see how it's also kind of peeling off of that gel top coat that I had over it. Okay, so I see that this is going to be quite a struggle here. Even though, so I, I don't want to soak it off, guys. I applied the cuticle cream. The reason for that was so that I could have easy removal, right? I thought I was going to be able to peel it off very easy. And no damage underneath 
Well, it's looking more like I'm going to have to to make it easier, more time consuming or less time consuming. Um, I have to buff this off, file it off. I'm not even use the electric file. I'm just going to file it off with my hand file. Yeah, that's pretty stubborn right there. And then but I will still be able to keep that. Well, I'll have to see the condition of the, my overlay and see, making sure I don't have any lifting. Let's see over this nail. Because on this nail, I had the gel. It's going to be, oh, let's see. Do I have any lifting there? No, no lifting. I just moved the nail. Yeah, this is, I'm going to have to, and well, on this one, I had, well, it's the same dip powder, but then I just had. And you don't want to, anytime you have an overlay, overlay, you don't want to pry from the very edge because you will lift your overlay. Don't want to do that. So I learned from the times when I used to use Aunt with gel over my overlay, kind of create a hole where you will continue to pry. And this is, I see myself, I see where I'm peeling off the top coat and then the foil. there so see like you make a hole and then continue to pry from there rather than come from the very edge I don't want to lift my pot my dip powder yeah I'm gonna grab a file guys so I'm glad that this this lasted this long and it will continue on as you can see I have no chipping on the sides not even where here I mean after four days a little bit of growth maybe and but um, I'm not going to soak it off and it's, it should make it easier for me to file it off rather than soaking it off. Okay, so here are the nails completely just with my gel polish completely filed off after I file that all I've done is just spray them off with alcohol and well I'll I'll know now not to even uh, try to put this if I have an overlay to attempt to try to use this as an easy peel off if I have an overlay peel off of, of gel because it's not gonna work I ended up having to file it off anyway but so let me show you up close so here we are up close with the nail where I apply the fiber gel, fiber builder gel. And hopefully this is as close as I can get you guys without going, uh, getting blurry. But hopefully you, you can see the line here of growth. So between here and here, this is all natural nail. It's all growth. And here's where the builder gel starts. And as you can see, there's no lifting there at all. And so this is the very tip. Let me just so know that you can, you'll be able to see where it starts because I went ahead underneath and painted white gel polish underneath so it is seamless. But let me point it out to you anyway. It's from here, right where I have the point, right from here, oops, from here out, from here. <laughs> To this point, all this is this is the extension, or this is what's left of it. From here into the, my finger, it's all natural. But you can see, so just a little bit of it there, and I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it, guys. I'm gonna let it um, continue just polishing over it. Um, and as long as you know, until it's ready to come off, and I have the growth that I want there so that the nail looks more even with the rest and this is still like I said so this is the dip powder French manicure with the I use the white dipping powder on the tips and the natural pink on the rest and I will just buff these out and uh, finish them up again with a clear your polish to then just use them as a base for other designs so that is all I have guys if you have any questions any other questions about this that was my mainly my status on the wearability on this product if you have any questions leave them below and I'll be happy to answer if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe for more and thank you for watching